general. Just chilling, hanging out. But yeah, thank you for the follow, Mr. Cubit. Appreciate that. Yeah, not sure. We might have something that requires uh, like a verified account. Hmm. Yeah, not sure. All right, so. When we're editing meals and restaurants, We almost need to make sure it's like a multi-select kind of thing. So does native face give us a multi-select kind of whatever it is? Oh, interesting. That's a fun one. No multi-select, huh? Just string parsing's tricky. Probably want to do a modal for that. Yeah, definitely not action action sheet. We have to make our own, like, multi-select, huh? So what I'm thinking then we end up just doing boxes or whatever with a with like a pressable state So we probably could have used uh, 
suppressible as well. This is just like a, yeah, numeric slider. Yep, so we gotta do this custom, which means we gotta render some stuff on top proper. do the modal thing. Uh, having a user select a menu item. Right, so we'll have a section on the page. It'll be for meals. It'll be a list of the meals that you've added. Below that will be restaurant options too. No, not at all. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the streets. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. Yeah, let's go look at how the modals work. Let's let's get the sections out there first. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller. So if we're editing the poll name, that's that. This is the meal options. Toaster and my TV and my steel belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. So we kind of need some state, or at least a value. Yep, and it's just false. Oh, and it's use state. Whoops.
Yeah, I'm still thinking about how we want to do this UI. No, Hydro. This is not about picking the meal or any of that shit. This is just simply, I'm the head of the family. I want to get people to decide where we eat tonight. Head of family is already picking the list. We don't care about the meal you're ordering, whatever. That's a totally separate thing. This is just to get consensus on where we eat. Or what we eat. Better I cook it at home. So, is editing... Sure. That's just is editing poll name. We could actually just use his voting still. Yeah, so just is voting. We're going to have an is not voting as well. So if we're not voting and we are the owner, What's up, Mr. It's Real? Thank you for the follow. Welcome. much this song sleepy times us skipping there we go 
see it. Is voting and is owner. Yeah, let's see. Oh, got something here. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. It's Real, but this is not your own personal Stack Overflow. Look at it this way. There's a lot more you're going to have to Google and figure out on your own. This is actually one of the easier ones. So you should be able to figure this out. My recommendation, you probably just don't know enough about CSS and specificity. Probably just go check out Free Code Camp. Uh, Moonlight, head to Free Code Camp. It's that easy. Uh, Portuga, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, welcome. You just blew my mind. Um, averagely sized rabbit. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Pretty good. Just chilling. Um, so yeah, part we care about. This is where we show meal options. This is actually where we want the whole, whole kit and get the Uh, so we need a fragment. a text. Hmm. And what's up, Windward? 
There you go. All right, so meal options inside of that, we end up having all of the meal options. So we actually want this still. And it's actually going to be an H stack. Oh, and yeah, we didn't. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do restaurant options. good. Uh, it's going fine. Yeah, we're having fun. So yeah, this would actually be restaurant. We don't have a model for restaurant yet, though, do we? Nope. Hmm. So we're going to need to have one. We've got meal right there. All right, let's go create it. in this. It's going to be similar to that. Restaurant name, restaurant images. I 
think it's image. Yeah. So we'll go verify that. Let's go look at that in our schema. Is it image or images? Right, so it's just image. Perfect. What about re uh, meals. All right, we're gonna want to rerun our scaffolding. Or we could just go modify it. Yeah, let's just go modify it. So, it keeps that up good. All right. If we go into the database and we look at meals, we can just fix the schema. Right here. Oh, we're skipping that song. Updated. All right, so we got it programmatically updated and we have it updated in the currently running database. But yeah, what you up to there, Premier? Premier, Premier, I forget which one it is. I don't know. There's definitely articles about it. It's probably going to sum it up more than I could. Yeah, I mean, you just type in one search and you'll probably find it. Uh, thinking about this type and the fact that we're going to need to create... Uh, you know, it might be fine. I think we do want a server-side function for it. So if we go look at what we got over here, right? In our schema, we got restaurants, we got meals. Those are a collection. For functions for it, we've got restaurants add here. Let me get some different music going. That one starts singing. How dare they? 
How dare they? Sorry, fixing one thing real quick. That, that is irrelevant, Hydro. Doesn't matter. This is, I am the head of the household. I know what things I'm willing to order anyway. It doesn't matter what the people I'm asking what they want to eat actually think. Now, eventually we might pull in some Yelp data for restaurants, but for meals? Or, I don't know. It's just, it's not that important right now. Right? Me as a user, I'm never going to set that. That's just going to come from data from Yelp or something and we're done. Now for a group of friends trying to decide where they eat, sure. Might make sense, but once again, it's Yelp data. It's not something we store at all. Alright, so, do we want a server function for this? That's the part that I'm thinking about. Like, is it necessary? Adding a meal or a restaurant to your list of restaurants. We're eventually going to want to make sure 
you know, the amount of things is validated. Some of that stuff. Yeah, I don't know, Hydro. Like, the main use case is definitely, like, you know the restaurant. You know what you order from it. Right? That's the common case. Right? You know your group of friends. That kind of thing. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But technically, she knows the restaurants, right? So she knows which one's the, the cheaper expensive. Right? I think that's the key. Like, you're typically going to be familiar. But even then, yeah, at least, like, showing that data from Yelp would be useful. But, yeah, I don't think it's something we want to configure, right? It's not a user entry issue, right? So there's no field for us to do it with. Yeah, we need a server-side function for this. We just do. Okay, so restaurant ad is actually scaffolded. We just need it for meals ad. As we start getting into polls, uh, right, we did polls, now as we do meals and restaurants, we're seeing that I'm thinking a bunch of these checks are pretty much middleware. So getting active subscription. And yeah, sorry, Cyber Cypher. Thank you for that follow. I think I forgot to call it out. Okay. 
what I want to do is, yeah, like, get a bunch of these chunks removed. Right? Like every single one of these. Right? They're technically validators, so we just want to return true or false from them. So this would be something like as active subscription. So this is collections and it's uh, value in collection name. it out to another function. Uh, where are we putting this? Oh, those are up in utils there. We're going to have top level utils and we may migrate those other ones into here. Right, so app right, user app right. They are both client. And we add all the missing inputs. Boom. Well, that's a weird one. Okay. Sorry guys, just randomly dropped there. Not sure why. Yeah, my bad. All right, so import.
Yeah, sorry, that was totally my bad. Oh, and this is election slash utils slash All right, so it has subscription. Oh, yep. And then in our util, we just got up. And what's up, Essen? How you doing? What's up, Myler? How you doing? Uh, longing Stardust, thank you for that follow as well. Almost missed it. I almost missed it. Right, so restaurant name, restaurant image. We'll have Yelp ID as well. Uh, this is React Native Dev, so it's iOS and Android. Your dream finally came true. You're a moderator for a uh, stream. Awesome. Yeah, good work. All right, so that's working. Uh, yes, yes. Up here in schema. Restaurants. We add another field, and we call it Yelp ID. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, we do get people saying uh, they don't get what it means, but keep in mind, you can totally learn it. It's completely free. Yeah, no worries. Nice. Yeah, I have a certificate from University of Washington for iOS development, but it's from 2012, so it's basically irrelevant now.
Um, that's old school. And even then, Objective C is a far cry from C. But nowadays, Swift is. Yeah, it's fine. You don't need no C to write Swift. Not at all. That guy may have been talking, you know, just trying to be elitist about it. Because you can totally write C code in Objective-C, and that's how you do a lot of, like, cross-platform type stuff. Right? Like, I totally implemented libssh2 into an Objective-C app. But yeah, he was just trying to be superior. Look at how smart I am. That's basically what that was. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff differently, so React Native, like, you know, finding common ground between them is really useful. And there's other tools that do it, too. Right? Xamarin, I think, can do it. But it's a, a heavy undertaking, so... Yeah, glad React Native and Xamarin and all the other things out there actually exist. Because I don't want to write the same application for both. Right? Two separate applications just because of platform differences? Fuck that. Wait, what do you mean, Essa? Yeah, maintaining both, bug fixes in both, different bugs in both, oh my god. Some of the same bugs. I thought we fixed that over in this one. Like, yeah, nope, only over in the other. Yeah, it'd be super annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying now. With enough channel points, you can configure whatever you like via stream period. So a smiley face becomes my smiley face. So we get the Yelp ID. Ah, 
And yeah, this ends up being restaurant name. has trouble getting up into that TSBS folder. Yeah, weird. Yep, flick them if you got them. Oop. There we go. Knowing that we have to do that casting. Okay, so that works for me. So let's get back to this part. We see our schema there. We need to put that into Create Collection if we haven't already. I think we have restaurants. We did. Perfect. So yeah, now it's just the function, and we crawl those automatically. So yep, we're back into here. Uh, yes, let's continue extracting out some of the common functions here. All right, so subscription. All right, we only use that. Oh, hold on, wrong thing. Um, number one, Teams ad is not something we're actually doing right now. Here's a good album. Yeah, so restaurants ad. Holes 